Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my Hobonichi Weeks um, all the way up until currently. Um, so we'll probably go through some things that you guys might have already seen, but that's okay. I'd rather cover it all than not cover everything. This cover is the Liberty Fabrics um, Sky High from Hobonichi. It is the zip cover. My favorite pen to use is the Platinum Preppy um, Fine Nib Fountain Pen. These are like the disposable ones. Then, if you have me on Instagram, you guys saw that I have used a card from my pen pal to cover my planner. And this is literally just the outside of a card. I just cut it and taped it in. So you guys can see, and I absolutely love it. I think it is so pretty. I love it. And I hope it holds up, um, at least for a while. I'm not too rough on my planners. Um, and this stays in this case. Um, we'll just go through what's in here real quick because I don't think I've ever done that. This is just the Tinta charm from Create With Pen. Oh no, I just broke it. You guys, I have a backup. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine. It's just separated. I just have to put it back together. Just like a so. I could probably do this off camera, but... Why? Whenever I could do it on camera. <laughs> Don't pull the zipper with the charm. You'll break your charm. I mean, it is an easy zipper, but I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have anything in there. Um, so it's really, oh my gosh. Okay, I have to say that this was, this charm was in her oops bundle. So there's that. I do have a backup, but I could just super glue that in there. Okay, I'm going to leave it off so I don't lose it. Um, but anyway, don't think anything of that because that was in her oops bag. Just to let you guys know. Um, I've never had any issues with any of her products. I just want to make that very clear. And I do have another one right here. So anyways, in this little front pocket here, I have this little Hobonichi stencil. I have these Midori sticky notes I got from Jet Pins. They're adorable. They fit perfectly in the monthly view. Um, this is a habit tracker. Oh, you know what? I could use this for my water. Yeah, I'm totally using this for my water. I don't know how many. Oh, 10 sheets of each design. So. There's that. So I'm just going to put those back in there. And I'm going to put this in right here. And then I will use that to track my water. That's perfect. Okay. And then back here, I have this little dots this sticky pad this is from the sticky club and then this cursive um capital and lowercase i've just printed just to have as a reference i don't really have anything in this reusable sticker book except for these and i really don't even use them so yeah so those are in there. Let me just see here real quick. Yeah, so that's what they look like. Those little dots, they're transparent and you can still see through. Okay. Um, this was a LA Florals, like a receipt 
from her. These are just pictures of my son. This is a die cut from the uh, Sticky Club. This is a bookmark from the Sticky Club. So pretty. Um, these are the Hello Happiness Co. script font of the weeks or the days. And honestly, I want to put that back here. This is a Primrose Corner. These are just like emotions. I really like them. They're really thin. They're like washi tape um, stickers. They're really thin and they're great for if you're hoping each weeks or anywhere where you have like a, need little smaller icons. They're perfect. And I'm going to put those back here as well. And then this is just, um, this is from Hello Happiness Co. It's just says 2023 and I had to keep it right there. And I honestly need to do a better job of making this look good because I don't do that great of a job with um how this looks oh that's too tall maybe I'll just fold this There we go. That looks cute. Yeah. Okay. And then this, I just tuck into this pocket. I'm pretty sure, and now this is just me assuming. I'm not like 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure that these zip covers are made for the sneakers. The sneaker covers. Because they fit in perfectly. And... Um, the ones with the hardbacks don't really fit very well. Um, so going through, I did add this piece of acetate. I think we got from the Lauren Phelps Designs box. Seventh anniversary box last year. Washi tape. I made this acetate myself. I foiled it. And then this is just a piece of vellum and I printed my own pictures on there. Here I have been tracking my mood along with um my followers and I don't really um like it's really not that big of me a deal to me how many followers I have but um it kind of it helps me just know like hey you are growing you're connecting with people you know, it just keeps me pushing forward and I really, really enjoy that. Um, so I put the number of followers here and then, um, in here I put a little dot for what I'm feeling. So I have happy, anxious, angry, fine, migraine, and sick. And like, fine just means I'm like neutral. Like I'm not super happy. I'm not super angry. I'm just neutral. And you know what? Some days are like that. I, you guys, I packed my planner pouch to go on my trip and I still need my stuff so sorry about that um yesterday I was happy today I'm happy and it's kind of hard to see oh you know what I just marked Sunday we're just gonna manifest that Sunday I'm gonna be happy <laughs> we're just gonna manifest that right now um so yeah and then I like say 19 happy days, two anxious days, four angry, four fine, zero migraine, two sick. And then here I was, I did start highlighting like the whole, you know, day, but then it just was smearing my ink and I didn't like that. Um, so I just decided to mark it on the day of the week. Um, and then on the very bottom line here, because there's one, two, let me turn up my brightness here. Okay. Because there is one, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, seven lines and I only have six emotions. I only have six, you know what I mean? I only track six emotions. 
um, at the very bottom, I say how many followers I'm up or if I'm down. In the month of January, I was up 42, which is really good. My goal for this year is to have 1,500 followers on Instagram. I feel like it's a, it's a pretty, you know, reasonable goal. Um, so that's what I'm tracking here. I really like it so far. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you guys are tracking. I'm very interested to see. So let me go ahead and just give you guys a little close up here. And these are just Tombow brush pens. And I'm pretty sure I got most of these or some of these, like this one, this one, and maybe those two from uh, Jet Pens and the others I had. Um, and then I, I, really, I do put the number of the, like what Tombow brush pen that is. So this is 992, this is N57, this is N79, this is 192. That way I know my colors are correct. And I try to keep them as different as possible, but then yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So then I can tell whenever I'm going back counting, but it's really not that big of a deal. December. Um, I'm okay with white space and that might bug some people, but I'm totally fine with it. Um, December was really fun. I love how I used, I went back and added these stickers and I just thought it looked super cute. Um, January, I used white out and I did not like how that looked. I had some canceled appointments. It's fine. I did go back and add these stickers. It looks fine. I'm not worried about it. Like, it's not my favorite, but I'm not worried about it. And in February, I'm already loving how it is starting to look. I probably should have tested out my pen on these sticky notes. Um, okay. That's going to take a minute to dry. But today is the 4th. And I have completed all four days so far. Um, so if you guys have trouble with smearing in your planners, I highly suggest getting these urban blotting, urban, urban blotting papers. You can get them off of Amazon. You can get them off of jet pens, but you just stick it in there and I just like do this type of thing and it's fine you can go to the next page write whatever you need down you know just stick it in there and you're fine and it is amazing like you can see the marks on the blotting paper that's fine and this thing will last forever and I think they come with like 10 a pack of 10 um, I specifically use this one for my five-year journal that I'm keeping for memory keeping for my son because whenever I shut it, I just put it in there, shut it and go to bed normally. So I just put it in there and don't worry about it. Okay, so back to my weeks here. Oh, I'm already yawning. Y'all, it's 8.15. I'm already yawning. These are the Midori metal clips here. And I, I absolutely love them. I have realized I am definitely not a tab person. Like the sticky tabs, I am not that, I'm no, I'm not the type of person. I bought so many of the sticky tabs from Happy Scrappy whenever they're on sale and I haven't even used any of them. But that's okay. Maybe in the future I might be. But I love these little Midori metal clips. They are so nice. And so sleek, especially in here. Like you can't, you can barely see them. So, um, this is February. This little like mortgage payment here, credit card, home insurance, payday, utility bill. Those are all from the kits from Little Prince Paper Co. I'll leave a link to that below. Um, yeah. This washi tape is from London Gifties, and this script font is from Hello Happiness Co. So, that is February so far. 
and then this is March so far. And then, let me just start from the beginning here. Um, this was starting in my weeks. I did jump in in the last week of November just because I was redating an old weeks. So instead of redating, I'll keep continuing to redate the weeks, I decided to jump in, even though they didn't have a monthly for November, which was fine. This is one of those Primrose Corner stickies. And I love the way this looks. There's a lot of white space, but I love it. Um, this has a ton of white space. I clearly didn't, you know, use it this much. Um, so that week, this is my, so far, this is my favorite week, um, in my weeks, just the way it looks. It's kind of messy. It has little stickers. They all kind of flow. I, I just love the way it looks. I don't know. Um, and then we go into the week of Christmas. So, then the week after, I do like the way how, I, I just, I really like how this looks. It just flows. Um, this week, I, I don't know why I put this in these big letters. Now looking back, it looks kind of silly, but I did potty train my son this week. It's fine. Um... I got some Primrose Corner Happy Mail. Then this was a good week too. Pretty busy. I used the uh, Little Prince Paper Co. Uh, it's a journaling kit. And it just looks so cute. All of these little stickers. And I really like how it turned out. Um, this was a good week too. This was a pretty busy week. It kind of is a little cluster over here. But it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. <laughs> um, this week, which I think was, was this last week? This was last week. Um, I'm trying to stick with a color scheme for each week. And I'm really trying to make this planner work for me. Um, and like, for what I, not that it's not working, it's working great. Um, but I'm just saying like, I... I want to be in one consistent planner. I don't want to jump around. I want to be able to make it work for me. So if it's the layout, I will switch the layout on my own. I can turn it a different way. You know, it, I'm going to make this planner work for me. Um, and I know a lot of people can't do that. Once they are like, okay, it's not working. They put it to the side, they could move on. That's fine. But I'm I'm really wanting to keep this planner consistent. Um, anyways, I really liked this spread and how the reds and the blacks, it just looks really cool. This is a sticker from the Sticky Club. I think this is from the Sticky Club. This is from some washi tape. Um, these are from London Gifties, and I'm not quite sure where this is from. I think it was a gift from a friend. And of course, we got Tinta there from Create with Pen. This is this week. I still need to fill in today and tomorrow. I do have some stuff to do, but I really like the greens and yellows in this um, setup. It's really pretty. It's really pretty, um, like, aesthetically pleasing. I'll just, and I love the, this is my favorite washi from London Gifties. So... Yeah, I really like how this one turned out. Um, I kind of have like a weekly checklist over here or just random stuff I want to get done that I think about that's not like day sensitive. Um, and then over here, I kind of put what we did that day or like um, maybe the checklist here. I don't do like if I have to have a specific daily checklist, I'll show you where I put that. But here is just kind of like an overview of what I did, any appointments, anything that went on that day. Like we had pork chops for dinner here, um, shepherd's pie here, which that shepherd's pie was so good. Um, go wild. I don't know what that means. 
um, of the affiliate, affiliate ticket was given away that day. I need to get my suitcase. Chad did laundry. EC reach. I need to reach out to EC. Um, yeah. But I do need to finish filling that in. And then next week, um, I need to actually write something in here. Um, ticket costs at 1 p.m. Okay. Just an appointment next week. Um, so this is another one of the Little Prince Paper Co. journaling kits. I just thought it was so pretty. I love the purples and the pinks. So this would be a perfect example as to like if I didn't want to, which is already dry, smear that and I'm just flipping. I could show you guys. Then this is the week of my birthday. Um, this is from so this is from washi tape from linen gifties these this is linen gifties tape washi tape and then this is from a, just a random sticker of balloons and then i just have to cancel the appointment there normally i don't write in appointments i need to put canceled there too but i do have a hair appointment here at two Um, this is a week of Go Wild, so I may do some sort of fun decorating there. Oh my goodness, and it's already spring forward after that. Wow. Okay, now going to the back. Okay. So, um, here is the notes pages. This page. <coughs> Excuse me. This page in between here is just my bills. I'm not going to show that on here. But um, here is. Oh, it's for, okay. Um, my order tracker. This started last year. Um, so I really don't have that many orders. I have the February Sticky Club coming. Uh, journaling ideas, YouTube video ideas. Orders, so this is just, um, I just keep track of any orders coming in, and it's not, even it doesn't have to be planner related. Um, so, yeah. And then this is like a test page for my pens. This is freebies, so like Plan With B has it, Sterling Ink, Grumpy Tortoise, uh, Linus Potts. They have printable freebies. Um, so I just keep a list of that. This is my Christmas list, a need to buy list. Uh, my Black Friday list, plus I had some pen testing going on here. Orders for 2024. Um, these are things I want to buy at the end of the year for next year, so obviously like my planners for next year, any advents, um, the fridge calendar, stuff like that. And these are, um, so this is my word of the year, time, 2023, and then things I would like to focus on. And I really like how this turned out. I just picked uh, different stickers that really worked with that. Um, so here I spend more time with Atlas. Date nights with Chad, read more books, um, focus on YouTube, pay off bills, send more mail out, walk and work on my health. This is um, budget for 2024 planners. Um, so I want to have that already budgeted for. Um, that way it's not like stressful whenever it does pop up. And then de-stash and declutter, which I've really done a lot of them. This is my wish list for 2024, so items that I see continually throughout the year um, because I'm doing the no spin that I may want, I'll write down here and then towards the end of 2023, if I'm really still wanting those things, not things I need for my planning, um, then I'll move them over. So, so far, 
Um, I've wanted these for actually a while. The Traveler's washi tape, which they're out of stock of. And then the Bow washi tape, which they're also out of stock of. And this is just a sticker dashboard I created. These are all stickers from the Sticky Club. Uh, and this clear piece of paper was just something a sticker, like stickers came in. Uh, like, you know, like a, a clear envelope that stickers come in to protect the stickers. I just cut it up the same size as my weeks and stuck a whole bunch of pictures on here and I really like how it looks. Um, yeah, I'll kind of bring it closer so you guys can see the, the pictures. This person, ha I found their Instagram and I really like following them. I need to find... Um, it says their Instagrams on the actual sticky pages, the artists. So I need to figure those out. Um, these are books I've read. Um, and I just about put this book, I just about like stopped listening to it, but that's a whole different story. Um, these are all audio books. Um, I would rather listen to audiobooks than read. I don't have, I, I can make time for reading and I want, my goal is to read six books this year, like actually read a book. Um, but so far I'm really enjoying listening to books. You know, you don't have to read books. So that's working for me. And that's how many books I've read. I think this is starting December. I had listened to a few books before then, but um, whenever I started tracking them was in December different shows we want to watch um and finish we finished a few here the school of good good and evil that i i enjoyed that movie glass onion love that movie ticket to paradise that was funny um and then my go wild packing list and then some things i need to remember over here savings things i'm saving up for um, my Chad and Atlas gratitude. And then this is just a random page with, um, I really like the art and this pet tape. So I stuck it in here and then tracking kind of things I want to track. I haven't been tracking. I do track migraines and mood. And IG following. But that's about it. Um, and then this is um, a list for Utah. Sorry, you guys, I'm being quiet. I'm trying to figure out if my son was crying. Um, but this is a list of things I want to do in Utah. Uh, my planner pouch list, which is right here. Uh, my planner pouches. And then a list for Utah for just like general packing. And then this was for St. Louis, whenever I went to St. Louis. Then here, if I have a to-do list I really need to focus on for that day, this is where I drop it. I have been uh, just creating a to-do list each day and then putting little stickers in. I really like how this looks. It's just full and used and it works for me. So, yeah. Um, this day I did do the same color, that cream, and then I decided that um, I really like how it looks with the different colors better. So there's just continuing that. And then back here. I have my Tombow, excuse me, my yawn, sorry you guys, Tombow swatches, just so I can kind of see how the color looks on the pages of the Hobonichi. Uh, my sticky notes, I'm trying not to throw stuff away, so they go in there, more sticky notes. I don't know what to put for my 100. I don't know. I haven't. 
I could track my books here, but I feel like I'd go over 100 this year. I'm already at like almost 30 books. Um, favorite things. I could fill this out and then see how it changes next year. Uh, how to you know keep a conversation alive. Then the tracking for the 100, 365 days. I have started doing tracking. I don't even know what I was tracking here. Maybe walking. I don't really know. Um, and I just stopped. And then addresses. And then there's the back. So that was the flip of my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, up until now. I hope to do this monthly. Um, probably the next one won't come out until after Go Wild. But I really like sharing with you guys how I'm using my planner currently. And it's kind of fun to look back on how I was using my planner and how it's changed um, over time. So I'm, I will pull this out and I'll show you guys. It is not super chunky compared to my cousin whenever I was using that. But I'm okay with that. Um, I used a lot of stickers in my cousin and you guys know cousins are daily so it was it was a lot um it was also a lot to keep up with and I just it was kind of getting overwhelming so I really like my weeks I like how it's working for me and I always really say like um if you want to try something try something new but for me and where I'm at I'm like this week's is going to work for me. So if one week it's not working, this is not helping at all, then I'm going to try something else the next week. And if that's not working, well, guess what? There's another next week and I'll try something new this week. And if that's not working, I'll just try something new the next week. So I really like that. They're only week long. You know, maybe Maybe something is going to work. It just needs to click for you. Um, so like you're going through and you're using this planner, you know, like this. Or you're using it as your to-do list and you're like, oh, it's just not working for me. I need to change. Try it for another week. If it's halfway working, try it for another week. And then if something may just click where, oh, okay, I need to actually take this with me and put it on my counter. And then I'll start checking things off rather than having to go back and check out or whatever. Something simple like that. Anyways, I always give things a couple weeks to feel comfortable. And then, um, you know, if it's truly not working, I try to switch it up. But anyways, thank you guys for joining me in the flip through of my Hobonichi Two Weeks all the way up until now. If you have any questions on where things are from, I try to be as thorough as possible. I will uh, just leave a comment below and I will comment, you know, a link or I'll tell you guys what shop it, get, it came from. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.